Hi, I'm Anna from the sewing studio and today I am going to talk you through the Bonnet 05 Academy. In this video I'm going to go through its features and functions, go through all the accessories and feet that it comes with, get it plugged in and show you some sewing and how it performs and then talk a bit about the warranty. Now we've split all that into chapters so if there's one section you particularly want to see just feel free to jump straight to that section. So the Bonnet 05 Academy is a mechanical machine. It's a heavy duty machine, so that means it has a lot of power to it and it's great on the thicker side of fabrics, but also good on the finer side of things as well. It can sew up to 1100 stitches per minute and you can control that speed with the on off switch. You have a high low setting. It's got 30 different stitch options and one one step buttonhole and those are all selected with this large dial here. You have the ability to change the length of the stitch and the maximum length is four millimeters and the ability to change the width and the maximum width is six millimeters. You've got a dial to change a needle position from the center left or right. The presser foot has an extra high lift to get any bulky items under and it has adjustable pressure. You can also drop the feed dogs and it has a free arm. In here is storage for all the different feet and accessories. Now it comes with 12 different presser feet and that includes the standard foot that's already on the machine, a zipper or piping foot, invisible zip foot, rolled hem, adjustable blind stitch, edge stitch foot, overcasting, a non-stick foot, a transparent foot, a foot for sewing on buttons, your one-step buttonhole foot and a free motion darning foot. It also comes with a range of accessories including a finger guard and also a foot control and power lead, a quick start guide and a really handy extension table. So you just pop off the accessory tray and then that slots on to give you a nice large working area. So let's get it plugged in and do some sewing. Threading the machine is straightforward. You just pop your cap on down there and then you're following everything with the solid line for the needle and everything with the dotted line is for your bobbin. So under there, around there, down, in, and not forgetting the guide above the needle. And then for the needle thread up, you just bring it down, lay the thread underneath, and then you've got your loop drawn at the back. The bobbin drops in with the tail of thread to the left, and there's a little diagram there to remind you. So just pop the cover off and drop it in and then you're just following the arrow. So you want to go around, up, in and around. Now when you come in around that piece you don't then have to draw up the bobbin thread. You can if you want to but you don't have to, you can just start sewing. Let's take a look at the straight stitch on the slow speed. So I've got a piece of cotton and you're choosing your stitches on this dial. So this is the standard straight stitch here. I'll talk about the red in a minute, but that's to do with stretchy fabrics. At the moment, I've got cotton. I'll just pop that in, drop the needle down. If I want to secure those, I can just reverse and then come forward again. So that's as fast as you can go on the slow speed setting. So if we switch it over to the high speed, and I'll show you the speed you can go. As you can see in comparison it's quite fast and it produces a nice neat stitch both top 
and bottom. So to change your stitch over to a zigzag, say, you just find the zigzag on the dial, move it over. You can change the length and the width here. And at the moment, because I've got the needle in the center position, the width is on zero. So if I try and stitch a zigzag, it's just gonna stitch a straight stitch. So let's go for a wider zigzag stitch. And there you have your nice neat zigzag. So let's take a look at the buttonhole. I've popped the buttonhole foot on and you need to bring the sensor down and then push this back until it clicks into place. Like that. We wanna select the buttonhole stitch. Your stitch length can be within the parameters of the buttonhole stitch. And then the width you want somewhere between four and six, depending on your preference. So I'll just go for number five. And then pop the fabric under the foot. And off we go. And there you have your nice neat buttonhole. If you want it denser than that, then you can decrease the stitch length. Moving on to a different type of fabric. So I've got some jersey here, which is super stretchy. So I've popped a jersey needle on and then we need the lightning stitch for this one. So turn the dial right the way around. Stitch length. I'm going to go for three and the width, we don't want it to be too wide. Let's just go for one and a half. And that's a nice neat stitch and you can stretch the fabric along with it and the seam is nice and strong. Now there are lots of different types of stretch stitches on the machine depending on the type of stretch fabric that you're using and that's what these red ones are. They're stretch versions of the standard stitches. So to select them all you need to do is move the stitch length around to the S1 which is the red and then once you move these along the A then becomes this red stitch here so that's your triple straight stitch your triple zigzag and so on. Let's take a look at the thicker side of fabric so I've got some denim here so I've popped a jeans needle on and we can stay on straight stitch but we want the standard length we'll go for three and the width we need to be back on one because we're doing a straight stitch. And it's sewed through that with ease and it's nice and flat and a neat stitch top and bottom. So let's double it over. So we're going through four layers now. And again, it's gone through that with no problems, top and bottom, and the seam is lovely and strong. So we'll fold it over once more. So we're now going through eight layers. 
Use the extra lift to get it under. And again, it's gone through that no problem. It's just my dodgy sewing skills <laughs> with the fold. And that's the underneath there. And the seam is still lovely and strong. Lastly, we'll take a look at free motion. So I've popped the free motion foot on, I've dropped the feed dogs, and as you can see, added the extension table. Stay on the straight stitch. Don't need a stitch length, because I'll be determining that. And the stitch width can stay on zero. So pop the fabric underneath. Okay, and um, we'll make a start. Let's just move those threads out of the way. And we can carry on. Now that felt nice and easy to glide along there. And you can see it gives a nice stitch. The tension is spot on and on the bottom as well. So I hope that gives you an insight into the capabilities and the performance of the Burnett 05 Academy. I have to say, actually using the machine, you can feel how robust it is. It also comes with a two year warranty and in the box there is a card explaining all that to you and you can send that off. And don't forget we're here at the sewing studio for any support or advice that you might need. So just pick up the phone, email us, pop on live chat. We're more than happy to take any queries that you have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.